Good morning. Here is the news at 10. First, the highlights. Lagos State Building Control Agency tasks staff on improvement of service delivery. NMPCL urges Nigerians to disregard rumors of possible fuel hike. On the foreign scene, African Union United States appeal for calm in Ethiopia Somalia rift. And in sports, Nigeria's women's senior volleyball coach Samuel Ajayi unveils 12 players for African Games qualifiers. Now the details, I am Dili Agadumo. Lagos State Building Control Agency, LASCA, has charged staff to improve service delivery towards the seamless achievement of set goals and objectives. LASCA General Manager, Bolaho Oki, gave the charge during the agency's first work day celebration and prayer session of the year in Ikeja. Oki commended the staff for a job well done in 2023, urging them to up their game for greater achievements in the new year as the reward for good work is more work. He reiterated the importance of building true love amongst the officials for a better working environment and seamless job performance. Oki also urged the staff to give more attention to their health and well-being through periodic medical checkups to be organized by the Agency for Workers to ascertain their health status, while proper medical attention will be given to those that need it. Also, the Lagos State Surveyor General, Ayokuno Adeshino, has charged staff of the office to be diligent, dedicated, and ensure a positive mindset to achieve the vision of the state government as enshrined in the Themes Plus agenda of Governor Babajide Sanwolu's administration. Adeshino, who spoke during the first work day prayer and Thanksgiving session held at the office's auditorium, emphasized the importance of ensuring regular health checks saying that health is wealth. He said there would be a continuous capacity building training tagged building capacity for resourcefulness for members of staff to entrench efficient service delivery. The Surveyor General encouraged all staff to remain committed in all assigned tasks, noting that this year the office will learn from previous challenges and effect corrections for better results. The Trade Union Congress, TUC, has urged the federal government to implement all agreements reached with the organized labor in 2023, especially the national minimum wage. TUC President Festa Sosifo said this in his New Year message jointly signed by the Secretary General, Nuhu Toro, in Abuja. The union stated that a new national minimum wage must be negotiated implemented and if further delay in the year arrears must be paid. It urged the governments of state and federal levels to stop the unnecessary tradition of taking loans. Now to the rest of the stories. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, has declared that there is no plan to increase the pump price of premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol. Chief Corporate Communications Officer Olufe Mishunaye urged Nigerians to disregard rumors of a possible hike in petrol price and shun panic buying. Some Nigerians had expressed fear following the revelation by oil marketers that the cost of petrol should be around 1,200 naira per litre if it was not being subsidized, considering the costs of the commodity in other climes. But the NNPCO insisted that there was no more subsidy on the product, stressing that it was now recovering its full costs on the importation of PMS into Nigeria. Meanwhile, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, says its members cannot afford to purchase 45,000 litres of petrol due to the removal of fuel subsidy by President Bola Tinubu. According to a national ex officio of Ipman and former chairman of the association in Ogun State, Surajuddin Bada, oil marketers currently contribute money to buy 45,000 litres of petrol and share among themselves. Bada says before May 29, 2023, a 45,000 litre tanker of petrol used to cost below 9 million naira, but now costs 27 million naira. 
The National Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, says it has not approved new electricity tariffs for any of the distribution companies. This goes within the Nigerian electricity supply industry, noting that they require its approval before increasing tariffs. Its spokesperson, Usman Arabi, urged Nigerians to disregard news reports about new electricity tariff coming up from 1st January 2024. There have been media reports that discos had concluded plans to hike electricity tariffs in the new year. And while some Nigerians say they had noticed an increase in the amount they pay for electricity lately. Now to foreign news, the African Union, AU, has joined the United States in appealing for calm after regional tensions surged following a contested deal between Ethiopia and the breakaway region of Somaliland. Somalia has vowed to defend its territory after Monday's agreement, which it described as an aggression and a blatant assault on its sovereignty by neighboring Ethiopia. The Memorandum of Understanding gives landlocked Ethiopia, Africa's second most populous country, long desired access to the Red Sea through Somaliland. AU Commission Chair Musa Muhammad issued a statement appealing for calm and mutual respect to de escalate the simmering tension between Ethiopia and Somalia. In our sport ahead of the African Games qualifiers in Lagos, Head coach of Nigeria's women's senior volleyball team, Samuel Ajayi, has named 12 players as the team battles to pick up one of the tickets for the event in Ghana later this year. The 2024 African Games qualifiers are, are scheduled for January 4 to 8 at the National Stadium Lagos. The team aims to qualify and win a medal after missing out on podium finishes since 2003. Ajayi has opted to mix experience and youth with a roster featuring five regular players, five under-21 players, and two under-17 players. He selected Ijoma Wabi as captain, while Jumai Beatrice is now assistant captain. Meanwhile, 22 players are now in Super Eagles training camp in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, ahead of the Afghan 2023. The trio of Francis Zoro, Al Hassan Yusuf, and Umar Sadiq are the latest rivals. Super Eagles media officer Baba Femiraji says Victor Osime will arrive this morning while William Trust Ekong is expected at midnight. The team held a training scheduled at 9.30 a.m. UAE time and will hold another session at 6.30 p.m. UAE time. That ends our news at 10. Just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X formerly Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sonwolo administration deployed traffic lights and CCTV cameras in strategic places in the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news from the highlights of the major stories, Lagos State Building Control Agency, LAPSCA, has charged staff to improve service delivery towards the seamless achievement of set goals and objectives. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, has declared that there is no plan to increase the pump price of premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol. We also told you that the African Union, AU, has joined the United States in appealing for calm after regional tensions sold between a contested deal between following a contested deal between Ethiopia and the breakaway region of Somaliland. And in sport ahead of the African Games qualifiers in Lagos, head coach of Nigeria's women's senior volleyball team, Samuel Ajayi has named 12 players as the team battles to pick up one of the tickets for the event in Ghana later this year. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to news...
Lagos Traffic Radio at lagostate.gov.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adirayo Idowu Olaya. I am Dilly Agadumo. Good morning. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.